What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Game Freak Daniel, a.k.a. Big D. And back with a how-to video. And today, we're going to put how to put a subwoofer in a motorized gasoline scooter. Yeah, you see it. Venom slash Carnage. You, you see it. So, um, this one's new. This one I just put on. But we got Carnage up top. Carnage, Venom. And then Venom on the bottom. Venom up top. Yep. Okay. Yep. It is pretty pimped out. But I still got a lot more to do with it. Which is installing these LED lights on the bike. Okay. And installing a subwoofer on the bike. Now, I already have the what you would call like Harley Davidson type speakers. Now I want a little bit of thump. So I'm going to install this guy. 5 inch 200 watt pile. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. So first things first is I don't have enough room in here. But I my idea is to take this sub right. And drill a hole right here where it's mounted in the bike. I was going to put it out here, but there's really no room for that. Plus, the sub would just sound better probably in an enclosed area. So, I'm going to try to drill this area. Okay. And install. Well, this is what this little guy is looking like. I, it looks really nice, too, for 20 bucks. Which, if you guys want to see the unboxing for that, link in the description. But it looks really nice for 20 bucks. What really caught me off guard is this giant magnet it comes with like the magnet is already the same size as the speaker that is crazy but yeah we're gonna be installing this guy most likely right there so i need to pretty much um make an outline of the magnet to pretty much fit through enough and then, you know, obviously, and then you screw in the screws. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go ahead and go with a yellow Sharpie since the speaker's yellow. So, and what you want to do, you want to outline this magnet. So pretty much, I can't do it while holding the camera with one hand. But put the speaker on here, but only measure, draw the magnet. Don't draw the cone because you need room the screw right, here's the where whole I drew. ignore yeah. all these i was trying to debate where to put it but right the real dark one is where i want it so i'll go ahead and uh drill <laughs> actually before i started drilling which you know this will this will still help for me to i can run like a wire or whatever but i actually found a spot for it which is right here okay so the subwoofer will set right there and uh now i just got to run wires underneath to get up through so um yeah that is looks like a pretty nice spot i mean i can make sure that gets um screwed in there drilled or whatever and also i think we're i think we're good Honestly, that looks like a good spot. All right, let's let's try it out. Because when I when I was starting to drill here, I didn't realize. Well, okay, well shit, my gas tank sits right behind it, so there ain't no clearance to put that. Behind, you know what I'm saying? There ain't no clearance to put a giant magnet back there when the gas tank sits right there. So that literally donked on me as soon as I started drilling. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. But then I found a spot, and yeah. Okay, so now that the speaker is on the bike, now you can see the wires running underneath down through here. And then now we just got to run it underneath to the battery compartment. So let's open that up. So the speaker's hooked up. I put electrical tape around it so it don't come undone. And there's the battery. 
go ahead and run this cord underneath so I find the hole, and that's what she said. <laughs> All right, so before we hook up anything to the battery or whatever, we need to install the amplifier. The amplifier is what's going to power the subwoofer. So I'm thinking mounting it right there where I originally wanted the speaker at, but now I can mount it. I'll probably have it that way so I can turn the knobs. But yeah, um, I'll mount it right there. So that way, you know, you have room for the... You still got a little bit of room to put stuff in here. <sighs> and, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, there's really nowhere else to put it. That's honestly the only spot. Alright, guys, after a long fighting of trying to get this to work, I uh, finally got... The amplifier mounted. I could only mount one screw because the rest of the screws I wanted to put in was touching the gas tank. So I was only able to get one screw in there, which is enough to hold it. Then, you know, we got the speaker wire going to the sub and then the power running all the way down up through underneath and up through to the battery, which I have enough to work with, which is good. That is a plus. Let's go ahead and put this cover back on. Try to hide them wires. Oh, close enough, it's on there. All right, alarm, sub, amp. Now, this one is all hooked up too. So now, the fun part of getting this sucker actually, that might not be enough wire to work with, so I might have to try to get something to stretch that further. I'll probably add more wiring to that. Yeah, that's not gonna reach. Okay. <laughs> And the wire to the speaker wires. I love this thing. It's so much easy to get the wires to expose out. Like you just and and this is made for a guinea pig's nails, <laughs> but I used it for speaker wire. All right, so now they're all combined. As you see, I just pretty much made it longer. Pretty much the wiring longer. So now they can reach the one, the positive and the negative. All right, go ahead and connect it. So, you know, obviously we're getting spark, so. All right, so we're all hooked up. I got the both ends electrical taped so they don't touch. And uh, now we can uh, hear what this guy sounds like under here all right there you go so that is how you install a subwoofer and a scooter now there's different ways of doing it but in my situation this is how i had to do mine because there's not a lot to work with here um but it works it's in there the amplifier is right there so we're obviously getting power so uh let's uh test it out Bluetooth mode. Alright, so I got my other phone right here. So let's go ahead and hook it up. Alright, so uh, let's try out this little 5 inch Pal Gear X. 5 inch, 200 watt. So we'll go ahead and do a base test. A lot of rattling. I'm gonna have to 
Yeah, it's rattling off something. I'm gonna have to adjust that better. All right, so now I got one bolt putting most of the, like I said, my situation, it's, it's hard for me to put a little sub in here. So this is honestly the best spot I can put it. But maybe if it's at that angle, maybe now it will jam. Maybe it won't vibrate now, so let's see. Oh yeah. Shaking the bike. Oh yeah, okay, now it's got a punch. Wow, a little five inch got a punch. Now that's just, now, the vibrating you hear is just the bike vibrating. Wow. What happens if I sit on it? Oh yeah, it's vibrating my butt. <laughs> well, it's not much, it's nothing crazy but it is a sub and a scooter and it works a little five inch 200 watt by pow not bad not bad honestly if i would have went any bigger there was no way this was gonna work and then the fact you know the bigger the more power so don't want to kill my battery but yeah All right, so one more test i want to try on it we tried a base test on it let's try a loud test how loud can this sucker actually can get so the song I'm going to play is our song, The Dark Tenacious, Train the Pain. And then this, this is going to be a future song that we might be doing. But anyway, let's see how loud it gets. It's only halfway. That's only halfway. Okay, so yeah, it gets pretty loud. It gets pretty loud. Guys, Carnage slash Venom is turning out pretty nice. Uh, like I said, now, you know, it's got a bunch of decals on it, vinyls all over it. Harley Davidson speakers on it. It's got a deck. And then in the inside, I did mount up the LED lights in here so that way it's easy to see in here and it just makes it look cool. And then, you know, you got the 5 inch subwoofer with the amplifier alarm this bike is turning out really nice uh but yeah the led lights are all mounted to the battery and all that it's looking real nice um but i'm gonna stop there it's getting pretty late and there's a lot of wiring for the rest